Welcome back, Chiefs fans, to Over 50, and the NFL draft is now over. The Kansas City Chiefs have made all their selections, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about the day three selections. I talked about the first round selections um, in a previous video, and then the previous video before this one, I talked about the second and third rounds. So I'm not going to talk about those again. I'm going to talk about rounds four through seven. Uh, but before I do that, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, like it share this video, comment down below. And we'll start first with Joshua Williams. Uh, he was a cornerback out of Fayetteville State University. And I tried to pull up some stats from uh, sportsreference.com and they have nothing for him. But I did find this piece. Uh, that's not it, here it is. Found this piece, scouting report. This is from Pro Football Network. Williams is a little bit of late bloomer struggling at receiver. For the first three years of his high school career, in fact, he even considered joining the Army following graduation. However, a position switch to corner, cornerback as a senior propelled him on the path to the NFL draft. Uh, a Fayetteville State cornerback is a small school player with big school talent. When studying FCS and lower prospects, you want them to dominate. Williams did just that through his D2, D2 career. Um, although the uh, lack of competition is a knock on him, he did what he was supposed to do, and he locked down his opponents. Um, it goes on to say that he did struggle um, some at the senior bowl practice, but he proved that he could hold his own against NFL level talent. Um, he's tall. Um, you can't teach you can't teach his size, and you can't teach his recovery speed. Is something that I remember uh, as much as I hate to say it. Uh, I want to quote Mel Kiper Jr. here. Um, said he's got really good uh, recovery speed. And it says his ability to turn and run with ease is undeniable. Additionally, his speed, size, combination, length, and ball skills add to his allure. So I am really excited about this Joshua Williams pick. I don't think that he's going to be a starter. I'm not saying that, but I do think that he could definitely uh, be some depth on this team and maybe projecting out into the future, like, you know, when Rashad Fenton, we have to decide whether we sign him or not, you know, or keep him around. Hopefully Joshua Williams will be able to step in there. Um, Dar uh, Darian Kennard, a guard from Kentucky. Uh, he's a, I believe a three-year starter and he has only given up one sack in like 422 snaps. I could, I saw that on the TV and then I could not find that specific uh, stat. But when you, when you click on his, um, his measurables or his statistics, whatever you want to call it here at NFL.com. He grades out, um, will be a, or will eventually be a starter. So this is a guy that played left tackle. Um, he probably would, uh, they say he could project to guard. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, the guy's 6'5", 322 pounds. He's got 35 inch arms. And he's got some big hands. You know, if he was 6'3", I'd say, yeah, he'd have to kick in, but I think at 6'5", 322, he could easily play tackle. So I think the Chiefs get some uh, – they get some value here. They get some depth to their offensive line because you got to remember Austin Blythe is gone. Uh, I don't believe we brought Kyle Long back. So um, he's got a decent, you know, 40-yard dash for, you know, a guy that's 322 pounds. The next uh, selection that the uh, Chiefs made – Too far with it. Uh, I believe it was uh, Jalen Watson. Uh, he's a cornerback, and I got his stats here. He plays for Washington State. Uh, he's only got two years of of data or two years of stats. So in basically 15 games, 34 tackles, uh, uh, two tackles for loss, two interceptions. Um, and uh, as far as passes defense, he's got five passes defense and five fumble recoveries. So, you know, he's he's around the ball. And, uh, you know, so that's a, you know, that's a good thing, too. And that's that's a, that's something you'd like to see is, you know, a guy that's got a nose for the football. And uh, so there's Jalen Watson. He was the next pick. Um, the second of our seventh round picks is Isaiah Pacheco. He is a running back out of Rutgers. And you look at his measurables, you know, he comes in at a 5.88, an average backup or special teamers. 
um, well, if you look at a previous video of mine, um, I went back and looked at Tyree Kill's prospect grade, and it was, I think, 5.10. And we all saw what Tyree Kill turned out to be. Now, I'm not saying this guy's going to be Tyree Kill, but I'm saying with 437 speed, you know, this guy could be, you know, it could be interesting coming out of the backfield. If you look at his statistics, uh, from sports reference, he played four years in the Big Ten. So he's got 22, 31. Um, let's see, what's that? 43 games, something like that. Um, 563 attempts, 2,442 yards, 4.3 yards of carry, 18 touchdowns. He can catch the ball, um, 47 receptions, 249 yards. Not a lot, not a huge average there, but a guy that can catch some passes in, you know, he has found the end zone. He's got good speed. So, you know, I don't see why um, that would be a bad pick. I really like what Kansas City has done in this draft. I think next to the Jets and the Ravens, um, Kansas City probably has uh, one of the best drafts um, of the 2002 draft. I think they have one of the – they're one of the top teams. I think they should get an A, an a or at least a A- minus, at worst a B plus. Um, the last pick at uh, 259, I think it's Nazee Johnson. And he's coming out of Marshall. So not as, not a, you know, not one of those power conference conferences where they have, um, you know, the, the prime competition. So probably, you know, didn't go against great competition. Um, uh, his prospect rate is supposed to be a backup or special teamer. You look at his data and there is no data for him. So <laughs> can't really say a whole lot about him. I tried to get some information on the uh you know by watching the i was hoping they'd go back on the nfl network or at least on espn and talk about the selection but they didn't say a whole lot but um so all in all i think uh kansas City has a good draft trent mcduffie he'll be a starter carl loftus starter sky moore is going to make an impact brian cook from what i'm hearing um he's he might not be you know he could be a flash in the pan a one-year wonder but um, he's really got some skills that they like. And um, Leo Chanel, if you look at my previous video, the guy has got some good size and had some, had, I think, like eight sacks last year for um, Wisconsin. So that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's helpful. And um, I don't know when my next video will be, but um, next time I, I see you, hopefully uh, you come back and I have something that will be entertaining for you. Hope you enjoy my content. Again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And uh, take care of yourself, uh, Chiefs fans. I'll catch you all later. See ya.